In this next problem, we have a truck, and the truck is going to try to come to a stop, but uh, it wants to come to a stop without introducing enough force here, or deceleration here, which would cause it to slip and run into the front of the cab. And so, uh, coefficient of static friction is 0.3. It's given to determine the minimum stopping distance S, which the truck can have from a speed of 70 kilometers per hour with constant deceleration if the crate is not to slip forward. Now, key thing is the deceleration of the truck and the deceleration of the crate are identical if the crate never slips on the truck. And so we'll use that idea. The free body diagram would show the weight acting down, mg, the normal force acting upward, and a friction force resisting motion. Uh, a friction force, if, again, using my favorite word, if it's fixing to slip, are fixing to slip, then the uh, friction force is mu times n. If it's not fixing to slip, if it hasn't slipped yet, friction force is less than or equal to mu times n. In this case, it's equal to mu times n because we want to find the greatest deceleration so that we're fixing to slip. Um, so, first thing we do is sum of forces in the y, and that's going to tell us that the uh, normal force is equal to the weight. No surprise there. Okay, sum of forces in the x direction equal mass times acceleration. Again, the only force in the x direction is the friction force. So we have minus 0.3 mg, friction force is negative, equal mass times acceleration, canceling the masses. We have that the acceleration in the x is minus 0.3 g times acceleration, which is the acceleration of gravity, and g is a 9.81 because we're in metric units, and so the acceleration in the x direction that will bring us to impending slip is a minus 2.94. Now the question is how quickly, uh, let's see, so now the question is what was it, the stopping distance? Minimum stopping distance. Okay, we know our acceleration now, so we're going to use ADS equal VDV again. Now, in this particular example, I'm integrating ADS equal VDV. Don't ask me why I did it that way. Uh, maybe just a reminder one more time, we'll convert our velocity from 70 miles per hour. I just said something... No, 70, uh, 70 kilometers, 70 kilometers per hour. We'll convert that into uh, meters per second of 19.44. Now, we'll take ADS equal VDV and integrate it, which is a little silly. Why? Because A is constant. So it just means we'll be rederiving that equation. Uh, but VDV on this side, ADX on this side. This is going to give, now, we want to be careful, we're going to start at some velocity and end at zero. Therefore, this is going to give a v squared over 2 operating at zero minus the value at v zero. So this is going to be a minus v zero squared over 2. And since a is a constant, we're just integrating dx from zero to s. So this becomes a times s. And solving for this one with a negative in front of the velocity and a neg negative acceleration gives a positive stopping distance as we would expect of 64.3 meters.